One thing I don't like about this tomahawk is look at the case. See that right there? That'll cut you wide open in just a heartbeat. So, let's throw that away. Tomahawk itself is a really good tool. And the first thing I'd like to do is a comparison of this tool with an original tomahawk head. See, there's some difference in size. But the main difference between this tool and this tool is that when this tool was made, the metal was allowed to flow across the ground. And when it flowed across the ground, it formed flow streaks. And it has a streak that runs right along here, and it drops, and it goes this way, and it climbs back up towards the top, and curves off like that. And there's streak after streak after streak. Now, those streaks and this axe head right here give it incredible strength. In other words, it don't matter how much you beat on it, it's not going to compress. It's not going to mushroom over. It's going to stay just the way it is. This tomahawk was uh, just pinch formed and heated, pinch formed, hole pressed into it, stuff like that. So any of those flow streaks that may have been in it have been smashed and stretched and they don't have a configuration that has the streaks flowing from end to end so this tomahawk won't be the same type of tool as this tool here uh, just because it won't take the abuse that this tool will and it, it all starts at the molecular structure of the metal itself And secondly, um, batoning was a common practice for the toma tomahawk. And you never want to hammer on the back of the blade itself because it can bend it. So what you do is you strike here on the piece of wood, right here, you hammer on it right there. And that'll drive it into any piece of wood you need to go into. Now I'd recommend that you chop your branches off like this. Just like that. When splitting logs though, to avoid excessive wear, what I'll do is I'll start I'll start the tomahawk with a baton and then finish the splitting job like that. And you can chop as normal with your tomahawk. And use it as a foot adds or a flatting axe or any one of those tools because the tomahawk will do every one of those jobs so you can make whatever kind of plankage or whatever else you need this tool also makes a convenient spoke shave you grab onto it you got enough handle on both ends of the blade that you can get a hold of it and do all those spoke shaving jobs that you need to do with. Well, that was the two primary traditional tools. The tomahawk and the stone knife like this one here. And this tool used as a combat weapon, what you would do is, yeah, you can chop with it. But what you would do is you would overshoot your target and try to grab them. Grab onto them with the, with the tomahawk. You could overshoot your target and grab on and then stab forward with a knife. Like that. Yeah. Especially a good weapon for doing that. 
The tomahawk is also a, an especially good throwing tool. Uh, yeah, you can throw it, stick it into a tree or whatever, but that's it's a good way to practice uh, your hunting skill with this, is by sticking it into a tree. And it's perfect for hunting almost any game, actually, even the even if you're hunting deer with it, this could uh, very well do the job for you with just one one throw. See? You stick it just like that. So after removing that that set screw, if the tool head gets loose, you just wrap it on the end just like that. And that'll that'll drive the head forward. And if you want to take the head off, you do the same thing on the other end. Tap it here, and that head will come right off. And you want it to do that. Um, and there's a lot of times when I'll take the tomahawk head off of the handle and use it for a baton to hammer stakes and stuff like that in. Uh, the handle does a great job of doing that and always always remember don't be afraid to, to uh, hammer on your handle and use your handle for a baton because they're, they're easy to get a hold of. Uh, most saplings grow to about this size so if you cut one down and shape it you'll be able to shape it really easy and uh, it just it'll just perfectly make your uh, tomahawk handle with a minimum of work. And also the length of the handle on your tomahawk is a concern. The standard length for a tomahawk handle is for it to go from right here at your shoulder, right here at the pit of your shoulder, to the palm of your hand, to the center of the palm of your hand. And as you can see, this one could be just a little bit longer. And, but your arm might be shorter, so this handle might be the perfect length for the length of your arm, but because I have long arms, I could use with just a just a little bit longer of a handle, maybe about an inch or two. See how it's sliced in there about three inches deep with every blow? So, the steel that this uh, tomahawk is made out of is a really good metal. Uh, it holds an incredible edge. It's just the right weight and uh, very nice. Now I'd like to show you something really cool that you can do with uh, your tomahawk, or an extra tomahawk. Uh, it requires a little time uh, for you to wait, but uh, it's the coolest thing ever. Come check this out. What you can do is drop your tomahawk head over a sapling, like the sassafras sapling right here. Make sure it's upside down. You drop it down and set it set it so it's going to be in the position you want it mounted to that handle and you let this you let this sapling grow for two or three years and what it'll do is it'll anchor that air or it'll anchor anchor that tomahawk head right into the wood the wood will grow right around it uh, on both sides top and bottom so when you cut that handle off and go to use this as a tool the tool will be permanently grown into the wood and that's a good condition to have for a tomahawk so I've fully tested this tomahawk and it's it's accurate to the original design as far as all the symmetrical aspects go and the usage. Uh, it can be used exactly the same way that uh, the original tomahawk would have been used. And overall this is a great tool. I really appreciate having it. Thank you very much. So 
I'll carry this and it's going to get used for many years to come. There's no reason why this tomahawk right here can't replace all your other tools. Yeah, I don't know if you carry a knife and saw and everything else with you like that out, out in the wilderness, but this tomahawk right here, uh, if used traditionally and used properly, will do all these other jobs. So it don't matter if you're using your tomahawk as a combat weapon or to uh, cut wood or work stones or to use as a mattock and dig around in the dirt and use it like a mattock, which you'll have to do a lot of sharpening. Uh, no matter what job you need to do out in the wilderness, the tomahawk is, is a perfect tool to do that job. And it'll do everything. 